Hey guys, thanks a lot for tuning in to the Chalk Me Out podcast with me, Narayanan. In today's episode, I'm joined by a very close friend of mine from all the way in Cambodia. He is a podcast host, a number one education podcaster in Cambodia. He's a certified life coach and I follow him for two things. One, the way he has worked upon his life for self-improvement and learning. Second, how he has read over 50 books every single year for the past few years. So this conversation is going to be a lot about knowledge, about careers, about how do you find peace with yourself, with the kind of things you're doing. So let's get started. I relaunched my podcast in this year. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I started ideating and researching about it in 2019. <laughs> right. So I'm going to like the reason I'm going to share this anecdote is to connect action versus ideation. Um, yeah. Because you speak about you speak a lot about goals versus vision in your podcast. You speak about happiness. Mm-hmm. And I think it's all related with the kind of work we do on a day to day basis. So in 2019, I did a lot of research. I built a calendar. I recorded a couple of things. I did not have a fancy mm-hmm. laptop or a mic or or even, you know, you know, yeah. a camera to record, right? And then somewhere down the line, I started seeing people who were doing great content. Yeah. And then I stopped. <laughs> and COVID came. I had a lot of time, didn't do anything about it and mm-hmm. stopped writing, stopped doing stuff. I always had this vision that, hey, I want to do podcasts with great podcasters like you or interview Mm -hmm. folks and, you know, share content. And this year is when that idea became a reality. And I was consistent uh, throughout until the first half, took a break, relaunched again. um, Mm -hmm. And, you know, what what really happened is surprising. A couple of days back uh, when I was, you know, doing back and forth with you for this um spotify and and anchor the app that i used to upload uh Mm -hmm. they selected my podcast as you know top one in october for new indian podcasters and i was just surprised because it was a vision it was it was a thought that was you know four years old but today it's it's giving me some leverage or you know validating that i'm doing something in the right Mm -hmm. way yeah. How would you do that um, in terms of, you know, always thinking that I want to be successful in life, but a lot of people don't define what success means to them. How did you mm. get here? And what would you suggest in terms of practices that young people, mm. or young professionals can inculcate in their life mm. to keep doing stuff that, that they love? Yeah. I think I think okay. Let's tack, tackle one by one. I think, uh, first one. I think we need to clearly define uh what success means to us. Yeah. I think a lot of time, like especially in the media, we worry into identifying success more like fame, power, money, <laughs> right? All the three and, together. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, uh-huh. you see all this like uh success quotes and all that. It's all about that. It's like oh, like you have to be big and all that. Uh-huh. So I, I think we need to go and un- explore a little bit on what success means uh, to each and every one of us. I think it can be uh, different and especially uh, it, it can be into a macro and you know, micro and also internal thing. And what I think very useful for me uh, that uh, the way that I define success is, is this more of an inward things rather than external things that I have because fame I can lose, uh, money I can lose if I have it, like power I can lose, somebody can rip off my title, uh, maybe yeah. just steal my, you know, my podcast account and just Facebook, if possible, right? Yeah. So so it, it's not fully up to us, right? And uh, I'm talking is like a, a bit of a stoicism here already. Uh-huh. But, but the, when we're, we're putting the standard into, okay, what am I doing? 
who am I and how am I expressing myself if I'm doing it in the right way every single day I'm uh, doing what I'm supposed to do and trying to mm-hmm. get a little bit better be kind to people and all that then yeah. I think that's a success right I close the day and just like hey today I did good things mm-hmm. um, I, I think that's a pretty success and it's gained a lot of instant joy right because it, it come out because uh, it's it's a uh, things that I fully have control over because it's my actions and my expression to other people and yeah. it's also related into the, the the part that you you mentioned about uh like having let's say a content that you want to create right yeah. it, it like i also have that thought it stuck me for two years for me to have the courage to two or three years actually like to have the courage to push it out like the video because i i saw people like hey uh they have good studios they have all these very nice things that very ready fully funded Mm-hmm. Uh, popular people talking to their shows or yeah. all this thing right so it's really easy to kind of like not doing anything because we uh, again we we focus on the external thing that we don't fully have control over uh, yeah. who's the listener and all that and and then we value a lot on perfection and that perfections like actually stop us from really moving and doing yeah. something and then as a creator i think uh, something that is very useful for me is more like to 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 go with the same approach. It's more like, hey, I just I'm just gonna release the content. I'm just gonna create. Mm-hmm. Done. Listen or not, that's not really <laughs> my thing, right? But but it it it's like there, there will be a point of time where we need to think, right? That okay, how to optimize our content, how to make it reach to more people and all that. But the the from a creative perspective, I think we need to think in two different hats. One is a marketer or business person another one is an artist right an artist who just create 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 there's some day you just need to focus on creating 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 uh, yeah. don't think too much about whether it's perfect or not just push it out and mm-hmm. maybe some other day more like a planner more like uh, a networker or maybe a marketer or mm-hmm. anything right we, we need to yeah. think in a different perspective one is art one is business so correct yeah <laughs> and Makes um sense. yeah 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 and then when you do that it just very really kind of yeah push it out because for me i didn't even have lighting for the first like i don't know one and a half or two years because i was saving uh in in malaysia back then and then i was like mm-hmm. hey i don't want to buy stuff that i cannot bring back so i keep using the window light and people watch my video because the in Malaysia it's like sometimes it get cloudy and the sun keep like on and off, on sun and off. <laughs> and because <laughs> I'm new to filming, you know, it's like uh, it takes so long to take a video. You keep cutting and all that, and uh, in the video people see like, hey, uh, there's light, there's no light, <laughs> like there's no correct, light. correct, correct. Yeah, but people like it. It's like people uh listen for for the content. Uh, I mean for the people who enjoy the content, they truly enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, even though like don't have a lot of uh, uh, other things, right? And it's also up to the question, what, what is the most important value that we want to give to the audience, right? If uh, yeah. we want to create content, content is the big, the, the, the most important thing. Then if you're doing that most important thing, anything else is an additional upgrade, but not the most important component, right? If like you have a business, then your product is the most important thing. Right, the packaging, the thing is an additional thing. So it's That's more like right. if we kind of cut down, uh, to 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 uh, to the very minimums, then work on those, and then that that is, uh, it's like it, it's an easier way for us to start. Then we see it more like, oh, it's not something too big, right? I think it's part of this like a uh, business idea we call like MVP, minimal viable yeah. products. Yeah. Same thing with content. It's just like, hey, I I have the idea, I do it. <laughs> perfect right. or not then it's just like i'm gonna release it out and the more we do that's where we get more feedback from people right correct like i i, di- I didn't intend to start podcast i only create video and write article for my first uh one year and then one of the audience said hey maybe we should have a podcast and i was stuck in my mind for a while i'm just like hey that's pretty I'm good <laughs> so makes yeah sense. makes sense i think i think i think you know it would be so nice if people around the world started utilizing business practices in their life mm-hmm. like say a SWOT analysis for your yourself 
you know, you do it for a project or a business, you do a SWOT analysis, your strength, weakness, opportunities and threats analysis for yourself, mm. or even for smaller ideas that you have, you do them in an agile way, put out a minimum viable product mm. for a project mm. that you do. I think, I think that really would change the game. That's all for today's episode. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I shoot these daily munchies out on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. In case you're not subscribed to this on whichever application you're listening to, I'd highly appreciate if you do so. And if you're listening to me for a while now, your ratings and reviews would take this podcast to the people that want to listen to me. You can also give your feedbacks and reach out for any questions that you might have on narayanan at the rate And until I see you on the next episode in a couple of days, have a very, very lovely day and make sure that you own your life.